all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope my voice is coming good and clear and i apologize for this difficulty as a start from the beginning we start and may the lord be with us thank you all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope my voice All right. Well, uh, the new uh, YouTube is really complicated, and uh, we are trying to figure out how this thing works. And you open an event, and then you find there's two events are open, and you set the time, and then you find there's different time is set. So they still have the old uh, YouTube. They did not delete it, and that I think the reason, you know, like I mean, the uh, the old way which would hang out with air or an air, and that you know lead to confusion and. Uh, this uh, this uh, thing uh, anyway today our topic about a Muslim a cute Muslim he sent me this message in Patreon his name is Yahya Abi and I'm thinking maybe the name sound like an Indonesian name Mr. Yahya he said to us hey Christian Prince don't say that Jesus is God but say the only one God is Allah okay don't you afraid with Jahannam fire? Mm. You know what? You just gave me a topic for today. I challenge any Muslim to tell me what Jahannam mean. Just to show you that Islam is nothing but a scam. Jahannam is a place where people burn garbage in Jerusalem. In the borders of Jerusalem. How that can be the hellfire of Allah do you know how the story became about hell any Muslim knows how Jahannam became the hellfire for Muhammadan this is the place where they burn garbage hello We know who is the one who mentioned the, the, the word Jahannam in the Bible and the reason they mention it because this place have always garbage is burning. Your God, he took the word, or I mean Muhammad, he took the word from our Bible and he put it for his uh, hellfire. So are you threatening me that Allah will send me to the side of Jerusalem? And I will be watching garbage burning. And why Allah is using Hebrew language? What happened? Quran is in Arabic. Look, but all your religion is based in languages which is not Arabic. Allah is not an Arabic word. Jahannam is not an Arabic word. Jibreel, Mikael, everything. And yet they say to us that the Quran, Allah, he sent it as a pure Arabic. Do we have any Muslim? If there is any cute Muslim would like to call us, feel free. You are more than welcome. And, you know, as long as you threaten me with Jahannam, I'm not afraid of your Jahannam. Because uh, I believe Jahannam is not made for me. And, uh, you know, it's the Quran who said that every Muslim is going to go to, to Jahannam, not me. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. وَمَا مِنْكُمُ إِلَّا وَرِدُهَا This is your book. Not a single one of you but he is going to go and enter hell the muslim translation they will say uh, uh, like look at this translation not one of you but shall approach it what approach it it doesn't say that it says you can read and tafsir and you will see 
that wariduha mean he entered so according to the Quran every single Muhammadan will enter hell in the same time look what happened with your prophet in the time of the, your prophet chapter 2 verse 111 the Christian they said exactly what you said to me but they are smart they did not say Jahannam which is not uh, Muhammad is saying Jahannam stealing from our book <laughs> you know they did not steal from Muhammad book because he don't have a book so look what have happened and they do not need his book and they say none enter paradise unless he is a Jew or a Christian what the Christian and the Jews they say to Muhammad nobody will go to heaven unless he is a Christian or a Jew okay look what your God smart God he said these their desire say bring your proof if you are truthful <laughs> Abdul equal opportunity I say to you bring your proof that even you have a heaven bring your proof that even you have a virgins waiting for you bring a proof that there is women inside the cabbage when you open the cabbage you will find the women her, her, her ass is one mile do you have any proof of what you are talking about so look how funny Muhammad is he could not debate them he says bring your proof okay what do you mean to bring your proof this is about the after after life how you can bring a proof about after life we can say the same to Muhammad Hey Muhammad, if you have a heaven full of virgin, what is your proof? Give us your proof if you are truthful. Zero proof. People they keep asking Muhammad for miracles. Give us a miracle. Give him a miracle. Give him, and Muhammad has no miracles. For us, we have a proof. Jesus, even in the Quran, says that Jesus he did a lot of miracles. So the one who can do miracles he have the proof the one who have none he have no proof look what uh, what the Quran says about Allah and Muhammad relationship the Quran confirm that Allah he never gave Muhammad a miracle which is proven that anyone who say Muhammad has miracles is a liar because this is really a contradiction to the Quran nothing refrain us from sending look at this translation what portent hold on let us change the translation this guy I think he is using a, a, a shish kebab website to translate his uh, Quran let us see another idiot uh, Yusuf Ali and we refrain from sending the sign only because men of former generations treated them as false do you see it my friend your God here refrains so where is the proof they ask him for a proof Allah says I refrain from sending proof so how come Allah is asking the Christian for a proof they have Jesus they have Jesus and all the miracles of Jesus they have Moses and all the miracles of Moses they have all the prophets the, 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 the disciple of Jesus even in the Quran chapter 36 witness that the disciple of Jesus they did a lot of miracles so why the disciple of Jesus not have miracles but Muhammad don't have any and not only that Muhammad is saying we only send our sign by the way of terror <laughs> uh, oh, unbelievable even his miracles is miracles of terror uh, maybe Osama bin Laden is a is a miracle of Allah. Hmm? He just said we have no miracles. So when a Muslim he say to us that we refrain from sending miracles. Oh, sorry, we say to us that don't aren't you afraid from going to hell? what hell even your hell even the word hell you have in your religion is a story from our book you have nothing authentic nothing real in your book zero this is your God your God saying 
I refrain from sending miracles? Okay, well, the Muslim they say that Jesus he did miracles of Allah. So how come Allah he gave tons of miracles to Jesus in the time of Muhammad he became so cheap? I mean, you know what? Your God Allah remind me of my grandfather. He used, you know, he became so old, he became cheap. So he used to come to visit us, and each time he see me, he says, "Why you don't shave your beard, huh? Why you don't shave your beard?" And one day I can't take it no more because he keep asking me the same question. So I said, "Grandpa, give me money, I will go and shave my beard." And since then, he never mentioned the word "shave your beard." Mm hmm. But he's an old man. He's like a hundred years something. Your God, what's his problem? Hmm? Why Allah don't want to give us the miracle so we can shave our beard? Is it really hard for God to make little miracle for Muhammad? The Muslim, they say to you that Muhammad, he split the moon. But hold on. If the moon is split really, that's mean this verse in the Quran is a lie. Because this verse came after the moon splitting. Hmm? Sure, I have a beard, 20 foot beard. And the other day I got a ticket because my beard was coming out of the window of my car, blocking the traffic. True story. Sahil Bukhari, brother. So, what do you think? Guys, don't forget to invite your friends because we have difficulty with this YouTube. So we created many links and now people are confused where to come. This YouTube is not the same as before. Any Muslim have anything to say? Anyone? What is the proof? Why Jesus is back? to Islam what do you mean back to Islam what does that mean you see my English is not helping me to understand your question Mr. Niji what Jesus is back to Islam I'm not sure what does that mean any Abdul What is the proof that Allah is God? Who is a Muslim is willing to call me? Let, let me open my Skype to be sure that any cute Muslim would like to call us. When I say cute, I mean like a sheikh. Uh, did you remember last time we have Sheikh Rohi he called me? I'm very old. I mean, you think when you speak to a sheikh who have a PhD, you will get an answer. But even the sheikh, he was fabricating answers and we had no choice except to get him busted. With no mercy. All right, our Skype is open. If there is any Muslim would like to call us, please feel free. So, what is the proof that Allah is God? Anyone can tell me? What is the proof? that Allah is God anyone knows I think not even a single Muslim and this uh, this guy who keeps coming here and says why it uh, can you tell me about Jesus why Jesus is back to Islam and then he says what what I meant C. L. Edward. First, he did not come back to Islam. Secondly, you are an idiot. You kept coming here saying the same thing. You are mentally ill. And I mean, who is this guy anyway? Is he Santa Claus? And by the way, he is not. What an idiot. Muslims. Muslims, they want to change the topic. They want to talk about something else. This guy, he did not come back to Islam. This is the bad news for you. Secondly, he is no one for me. Number three, he come back, he go back, he come, he stay, who care? Number four, you are an idiot. And you have no answer, brother. There is seven, eight billion human beings in this earth. Somebody want to go to Islam, someone will leave Islam, who care? This might not my business. People are free. Who is a Muslim? 
why Arab Christian they use the word Allah because they live under the Islamic occupation for 1400 years if ISIS they force and ISIS they occupy your city for one week do you know you know what you will forget English and you will start speaking Arabic not only they will change the name of your God for you so Arab Christians they've been forced to use that word after 14 centuries of ISIS And the proof of that you cannot find the word Allah in any word anywhere except for those under Islamic occupation and that Middle Eastern Christians any Abdul and if you say to me in the in the Arabic Bible this is a translation the same as the Muslim they say Jesus in the translation but in fact in that Quran there is no Jesus there is Isa so that is a false translation when they add the word Allah we don't have Allah in the original Bible so secondly our problem with Islam is not the name let us say the Muslim they change the name of their God and they call him Elohim that will not change the fact that this God is fake God so people always they come with silly questions very silly as if we are debating about a name and by the way the name of the God of Islam is not, not an Arabic too it is taken from the old Aramaic which is Al and Lah Lah is the moon God Al is a word meaning God Lah is the name so even the Muslim the, their God the name is a story and not a single Muslim knows what the word mean hmm? Don't mention the name of this idiot. He is a kid. Anyone will mention the name of this Ahmed, I will ban you. Literally. Because this guy is a kid and he is a stupid and he has mental illness. And I am, this is not my level. So if you are a stupid like him, I will ban you. Anyone can call me. My Skype is open. He can change his name and he can come and call me. Anyone. It doesn't matter who. I don't know who is calling me. But don't tell me the name of this guy. This guy, he made fun of the children of David Wood for they have uh, uh, illness. He, he, he is literally mentally ill. This guy, he, I debated him before, by the way, and he agreed that his prophet has sex with an animal. So you are talking about someone is stupid. Even the Muslim don't respect him. Do we have any Abdul? <coughs> any Muslim, any Muslim can call me. I never said no to anyone to call me. But don't tell me your name. For I don't care how big, how small you are, how stupid, how smart you are. Here you will get what you deserve. So who is a Muslim would like to call me? Including this guy you mentioned his name. He can call me. But this guy is like a like a stalker. He's like a like a kid. He holds you from your feet. Uh, I want to debate you. 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 Okay. <laughs> we did already. Call me. No problem. Do we have any Abdul? Arab who speak Arabic with BHD, they, they, you know, you see what happened to them. What about a guy? He don't even know how to say the name of his prophet. He don't even have high school, neither in Islam, neither in in in, in his the country he live in. You, you see, we are debating with people who have a very high education, and they don't even they could not defend for five minutes. What about those who don't even speak one word in the Arabic language and they don't have any education about Islam? Hmm. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? My Skype is open. Who is a Muslim can tell me and show me why Allah became God? Who made him God? And what the word Allah mean? Anyone? See? 
Oh, Mimi Hijab will never even dare. We offer him. He in the beginning he accepted, but then he he, he ran away. They asked him right when he left the debate with David Wood, when you will debate Christian Prince. He said, uh, bring him, bring him. <laughs> bring him. <laughs> and then after that, less than eight hours later, they spoke about me in a video and they start insulting me and they say, will not debate me. Because they knew that this is not, not the person to, he cannot play the game with me. He played with David Wood saying, show me answer me silence me i know your arabic is funny and then he uh, he supposedly he shot david wood in the head by saying to him elijah I mean god is with us and then he shot him twice when he said this is why it says he pray for not to <laughs> all right any abdul where are they the one who wanna refute me come on refute. Re don't refute me forget about me i'm no one just call us and show us one reason to believe allah is god who care about christian prince <clears throat> did the holy spirit lift jesus from the dead you see first of all when we speak about jesus you are talking about jesus the flesh the flesh of a body God never die our God is always living God so the flesh is resurrected if you know what resurrection mean you should know better that even a human being when we speak about a human being we say resurrected re resected which means reunite two things together the body and the spirit so even a human being when they die their spirit is not dead and God our God is a spirit my friend the flesh die but our God never die so our, our God is always living this is why Jesus is exist before his body is exist when he got the body which we we saw when we came uh, through Mary this is after his birth but Jesus says before Abraham I am so the one is buried is the flesh of Jesus but God is always alive so in your image, in your thinking, who is the one who resurrected who, right? God is the one who resurrect, res, res, resurrected all body, including the body of Jesus. For this is just a flesh. Isn't it Jesus says, you destroy this temple and I will build it in three days. I will build it. He did not say my neighbor, my friend. You destroy it, I will build it. He was talking about his body. So you destroy this temple and I will build it in three days. And the three days here is symbolic for the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit too. Otherwise, he do not need the three days. Do we have any Abdul? Any Muslim? Until now, I don't see any uh, Abdul contacting us or saying anything. Anyone? Where is the proud Muslims who worship Allah and Allah is God? Okay, well, as long as you are not going to help us, we have to help ourselves. What we can do? Right? What we can do? Look, the Muslims, they are not going to call us. The Christians, the Jews, they say only them they can go to heaven. Prove us wrong. Prove us wrong, Muslims. The Quran says, the Jews and the Christian they say that only them they will go to heaven. What do you think? Are we really going to go to heaven, or the Muslims will go to heaven? And the Quran says, for those who make such a claim, bring your proof if you are truthful. 
So who is a Muslim when I give me his proof and I will give you my proof that they are, we are the one who will go to heaven? Anyone? Muslims, they are copying from books which Muhammad he learned from. Because Islam is coming from Islam is a is a counterfeit of a, uh, of a Christian sect, but it's mixed with many pagan belief. They have the you see Muhammad was uh, uh, trying to make himself as a as a Jew for some time. Then the Jews re refuse him, so he tried to be a Nasara because you have to join a group. You, have, you know who, who is the one going to approve you? This is why Muhammad he starts saying I. Uh, I believe in Isa or believe in Jesus which is Isa we do not know where his name coming from and I believe he got it from a wrong pronunciation uh, in, in for the for a Greek word and uh, he starts saying I believe in Musa so the Jews can accept him but when he give up from the Jews and the Christians you know then he have no choice except to go back and pray to the Kaaba as you remember Muhammad was praying all this time since the beginning he claimed to be a prophet all the way to the direction of Jerusalem so what happened why Muhammad suddenly he switched to Mecca Mecca was not a, a holy place for him at that point but because he found that there is nobody is going to take care of him except his own people he forced them to Islam he had victory over them by war and now to make them like me they like the Kaaba we have the Kaaba they like the black stone I will kiss the black stone they like to go around it, I will go around it. They like a Safa and Marwa, which is a place for a man and a woman, they have sex together. We will we will we will take the Safa and Marwa as part of Islam. This is why actually if you see in the in the in the Quran, when the Muslims they, they were questioning why Muhammad is saying to us, you know, we have to practice a Safa and Marwa. And actually they refuse in the beginning to do it but Muhammad he was trying to be hypocrite to the to the uh, uh, Ansar the Ansar they practice as Safa and Marwa and they enter into upon Islam and he was afraid they will leave Islam which means they will not believe in him no, no more if he told them no Safa no Marwa so look what happened Behold, the Safa and Marwa are among the symbols of Allah. Why? Look how many symbols we have now. Look like the symbols of Allah are growing. In the beginning, the Kaaba was not a symbol of Allah. The Safa and Marwa was not a symbol of Allah. It was Jerusalem. Then suddenly Jerusalem disappeared. And then suddenly Al Kaaba appeared. And then the black stone. And then as Safa and then Al Marwa. Why? Any Muslim can't tell us? Who is a Muslim will tell us what as Safa and Marwa? If you read the Muslim interpretation for this, you will die laughing. They will say to you that uh, uh, the wife of Abraham, she walked between those two areas. Well, the wife of Abraham, she walked thousands of kilometers, according to you Muslims. She went all the way from Iraq, all the way to Mecca, which is very stupid to believe. How a woman, she have little child with her. She can cross a desert where is no water, no river, all the way to Mecca. And why Mecca? All right? Any Muslim can tell us? And why the Muslim they refused to practice as Safa and Marwa? Is it true that as Safa and Marwa it was a place where a man and a woman they have sex together inside the Kaaba and the pagan Arab they made two statues for them in two little tiny hills. One it's called as Safa, one it's called Al Marwa. Any Abdul? Why God? Or what's happening here? No sound. Okay, let us see. Well, I don't know. Maybe this is from YouTube. 
from my side it looked fine I don't see any problem back okay any Muslim do you really believe there is a God he will describe his heaven as you see that in the heaven we are going to have a river flow hmm and we will have we will wear golden bracelet who like to wear a golden bracelet any Muslim can tell us who like a golden bracelet You like to dress like Elton John? Have ten rings in your fingers and two rings, uh, five rings in your ears, and a bracelet in your hand. Is that really your interest? And that will make it heaven for you? Hmm. Muhammad is speaking to those Arab, my people. They never have such a thing. They never have couches. They never have uh, 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 pillows. They never have anything. Fancy! Uh, this is fa this is this is a dream for them. You promise me I will wear a shirt made from silk? Are you sure? Yes, brother. So Muhammad is trying to seduce those poor Arab with his stupid, silly promises. Okay, what I will do? I don't know. I am not sure what's uh, what the problem. I keep losing you. I think because the way the internet now is made, so now we have a problem that I have the internet running, running twice. Maybe let us see here. Maybe that will help it. Yeah, I think uh, it's uh, the internet is uh, is kind of weak. Uh, let me see. Well, since since the, they changed the, the this thing how it work, so things is messed up. All right. You have to live with it guys I don't know what to do I have all my internet equipment off and look like this thing maybe I need to lower the the broadcast uh, yeah I think the software which where you can uh, do the stream Maybe need some some uh, tune. Let us see. Stream where it says what kind of a streaming it is. Advanced. I don't see anything here. I mean, I'm not sure why uh, YouTube they uh, they changed that. Video output is currently active. Please turn off output. Okay, so I can't even change it now because simply I am active. Anyway, we will live for word for now. You guys are talking to a guy. His name is refuted. Where is this guy refuted? Is he here? Is he a growing man? Is he a grown man or a kid? By the way, in case you do not know, all Muslims they refute me. I never met a Muslim he don't do. All of them. 
all of them they are going to wear a bracelet and they will have rings in their ears and they will sit in the couch and they will say Christian Prince we have a couch in our heaven in the heaven of Jesus you don't have a couch Christian Prince not only that brother there is two heaven heaven to heaven one is made from gold and one is made from silver hmm? and don't forget by my friend the boys the boys my brother the boys will serve you there they are very beautiful and they will not bleed look at this brother look at this brother not only you will wear a green silk brother you have 80,000 little, little little child they are going around you brother with no clothes hmm? yeah the first class and second class you are right any Muslim will tell us what is this this is God speaking and then here we go and then a green garment uh, and fine silk and brickade brother by the way uh, uh, Allah uh, Allah uh, uh, one verse he says he will wear a green uh, garment and uh, uh, a golden uh, bracelet but in this verse it says silver Allah he forgot any Muslim can tell me why he is saying that he will wear a green garment in one verse and and uh, and silver and one verse saying gold which one of them is correct any Muslim look at this hmm? In, uh, in this chapter, chapter 18, verse number 31, it says you will wear uh, bracelet from gold and you will wear uh, green silk. Okay, go down a little bit. Chapter 35, verse number 33, it says that you will wear uh, bracelet from gold and pearls mm -hmm. now we have more pearls okay but in chapter 76 verse number 21 we have silver so what we will do now Allah don't remember what he said yesterday any Muslim want to tell us what's happening is it a bracelet from gold or from silver or pearls anyone And not to forget that Allah in heaven, he will uh, give us wine mixed with the uh, ginger. Don't you like to drink wine with ginger? Obviously, this is from God. Only God can mix wine with ginger. What is that, the, the menu of Allah in the kitchen of Allah in heaven? So in the heaven of Allah, we are going to drink wine with ginger. Hmm. And we wear a bracelet but Allah is not sure if it's gold or silver mm -hmm. and all of us we will wear a green clothes that's fantastic my friend the most boring color to be a clothed for anyone I cannot imagine myself for a second wearing a green shirt green green shirt 
Why Allah promising us a green shirt? Any Muslim can tell us? What is the reason? What's wrong with the, you know, even this it doesn't fit with the topic, Islamic heaven is full of uh, boom boom, so it should be like a red shirt. Huh? Pink? Me wearing pink? No way. Any Abdul heaven? Why? Why? What? What is the point of this thing? And there is in heaven, there is the fountain of youth. From fountain of youth, you drink, you stay forever young. Here we go. We will have uh, Captain uh, Jack Sparrow looking for the fountain of youth. What do you want more? Now I understand why this guy, he said to me, you should say Allah is God. Obviously, he must be God. And by the way, the fountain of youth is mentioned in the hadith by Muhammad too. Let us find you. The hadith. Where Muhammad, he mentioned that there is a fountain. If you drink from it, you will never die. Okay, where is the hadith? Where is the hadith? Aha, we found the hadith. Because a Muslim, he might say, is lying. There is no such a thing in Islam. Okay. <clears throat> Let us see. Where is the fountain? Here we go. And by the way, this fountain is existing in the earth too. But look like Allah will open a branch with it, from it. He will take like a pipe to the heaven of Allah. So look what happened. According to Muhammad, there is a prophet, his name is Al-Khadr, who his name was given because he drank from this water. At the rock, there was a water spring called Al-Hayat. Ah. Uh -huh. What Al Hayat mean? Life. So there is a water spring called the water of life. Amazing, brother. So beautiful. And none, brother, none come in touch with it. Just touch it. You don't drink it yet. You just touch this water, brother. And none come in touch with it, brother, with its water, but become a life. What do you think, Muhammadan? This is God speaking about the water of life, fountain of youth of Captain Jack Sparrow. Who took this story first? Jack Sparrow took it from Muhammad or Muhammad took it from Gilgamesh? There is many legions long before Islam speaking about a fountain. It's called the fountain of youth or the fountain of life. In the history of uh, the Persian, in the history of the Aramaic, in the history, uh, all, you know, all of them. And the story actually says it clearly that this fountain should be found in Al Bahrain. You know, the country is called Bahrain now. This is supposedly where he found the fountain. Any, uh, any Muhammadan want to tell me who really who is a Muslim believe in this who is a Muslim believe in, in what we see in front of us and this is what Muhammad said this is what your prophet said not me anyone Who is going to tell us if who is a Muslim really is brave to say I believe in this? I have no problem with it.
What do you think? Anyone? The fountain of youth is oil. <laughs> you see, if you if you say imagine like you know, the Muslim they they make speeches uh, as an example. They say, I mean, uh, you know, we believe in common sense. We believe in logic. Muslims believe in logic. You are right. And uh, this is logic in front of you. That there's a guy. His name is Al Khadr, which means a green. And the reason he was called a green because simply he drank from the water of life. So this Mr. Green, according to the Muslims, he witnessed the funeral of a pro prophet Adam, because Adam is a prophet for the Muhammadan. And he was in the funeral of Noah, the funeral of Muhammad, the funeral of Moses, and he is now listening to us. He's alive. Why? Because he drank from the fountain of youth. The funny, the funny that Moses, he went there. I don't know why Moses did not drink from this fountain. You see, a guy who was traveling from all the way from Jerusalem, went all the way to the Gulf, the Persian Gulf, and he arrived to the fountain of youth. Did not he drink from it? So why Moses did not live forever? Any Muhammadan? By the way, I have uh, I have this uh, water. If any one of you would like to drink this water, let me know. This is why, like you know, last time I went to uh, to the store to buy a crazy glue. A crazy guy from Walmart. He says to me, "Are you under eighteen? Are you uh, are you over eighteen? No, actually, he said, "Are you over twenty-one? Something like that." And I was like, "What I did?" Maybe by mistake, before I come here, I drank from the water, I save it in my fridge, the water of life. I was really afraid that I, 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 I did use the water, because this water, I, I'm saving it for like when get uh, like get really, really old. I will touch it only and come back like very, very uh, young. And the guy, he says to me, are you uh, and, uh, over 21? I was looking at him. I mean, is this guy is an idiot or an idiot? I mean, come on, I look young, yeah, but not to the point you think I'm under 18, brother. Like, come on. Unbelievable. Any Abdul? Take it as a compliment. Okay, okay, I will take it as a compliment, Renate. Uh, thank you. I never thought about it this way. I took it seriously. You know, I did like what uh, what women do. Uh, I open the camera and I start looking at the phone. You know, you uh, the only one who opened the phone and they start moving their head left and right. You think they are talking, but they are not. They are using the phone as a mirror. Is women. She put the phone in front of her and then she start moving her head to the right and then to the left. And then, like her lips, like they are doing something in their lips for the lips stick. And that's uh, the mirror. The, I mean, the phone have a d different use for women. That's for sure. Even some of them, they use the phone as a mirror without even turning the screen on. So, any Abdul? Who is a Muslim who tell us if he believe really in this? Is that the proof that Allah is exist? That he believe in the fountain of youth and the fish or the whale touched the fountain of youth, water, and she escaped and she run in the ocean? And the brother, after she run in the ocean, she escaped from... Look look at the story. How is story is very convincing, by the way. The story is serious and very convincing. So some of the water 
that spring fall over the fish. Oof, 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 oof. So it moved and slipped out of the basket and entered the sea. I mean, and you are telling me that Muhammad is not a prophet. The story here, it must be a true story. <clears throat> Who in here think really for a second, there's no way you think that this guy is fabricating a lie. This must be a true story. So brother, some of the water, brother, touch the fish. Touch it. The fish did not drink it because I want to I wanna see the fish drinking the water, by the way. Uh, that would be a nice selfie. So, uh, uh, the, the water touched the fish, brother. And here, by the way, you notice uh, like the, the, the structure of the story is very convincing and very deep. Not only just a story, any story, it's a very convincing story. Very beautiful. Additionally, proof that uh, the prophet is the prophet. Uh, but those kuffar don't want to believe what we can say, brother. They don't want to believe. So this is a, co a convincing story. So some of the water, brother. Hmm. And I can imagine now how many their mouth is open. And uh, this is very true story. Some of the water, brother, of that spring fall over the fish. Uh, 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 brother, a question. How the water fall over the fish, brother? Hey brother, it's very simple. They put the basket next to the spring, and the spring of water is a fountain, brother. So it's going to make uh, you know water uh, scra I guess uh, you know scattered uh, around. So one of the, the drop of the water fell on the fish. Very simple. Okay, brother, I guess I, I got it now. I got it now. Okay, so it moved. See, so the fish now came back to life because remember it says, "None come in touch with it." but become alive see here how the structure of the story is so good all right this is very 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 like very strong convincing story no none come in touch with it uh, of water become alive so when so when some of the water uh, of the spring of that water fall in the fish so it moved and slipped out of the basket look 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 I mean, you cannot trust these days to even to put a fish in the basket no more. This is why in Walmart, they don't put them in basket no more. They put them in the freezer. I mean, you notice now? I was asking myself, why in the freezer, not in the basket? Why in the freezer? Because somebody might bring some uh, 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 water, uh, drop the water in the fish, the, wish, the fish slip in his pocket. Actually, today I I, I saw uh, uh, sadly I saw a woman. She is like 70 years old. She was arrested in Walmart. I was in Walmart today. This is my five stars hotel. Uh, and uh, she was arrested for uh, uh, what they call it, you know, Islamic practice, uh, halal, halal. Uh, what they call it, halal. It's like, you know, taking things without paying for it from the Christians, from the Jews. Anyway, she was practicing a good good ethic. And imagine a woman almost in her 70. Why you humiliate yourself and you steal something from Walmart? I mean, is it worth it in this age to go to jail? I mean, how stupid a human being is? What you get? Some cheese? What you will steal? Is it worth it? in this age to be humiliated very disgusting uh, anyway let us go back maybe she was trying to steal some of the water of the fountain of youth because she want to go back to be 17 again uh, and enter the sea and then guys Musa's woke up and he asked his attendant bring early meal for us early meal what is that the fish uh -huh. see brother the fish was an early meal there's an uh, what early meal a fish is an uh, 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 musas he like to eat in the morning a fish do you see 
The first thing Musa you do, he woke up in the morning, he's eating a fish. For me, I don't like, by the way, to eat fish in the early morning. I like shark. Because it's, you know, and by the way, in Arabic here, it doesn't say fish, it says a wheel. Wheel. And the narrator added, Musa did not suffer from fatigue except after he had passed the place and he had been ordered to observe. Look, 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 look. You see, Musa, he did not suffer from fatigue, which means the one who made, uh, made him fatigue now is Allah, because he wanted him to tell him, like, come on, you passed the point. Like, you have to stop back there. Like, hello. So Musa, when he passed that point, keep going, Allah made him feel fatigue. And you are telling me, where is the miracle? This is a miracle. So he had fatigue. He never had fatigue anywhere. Only after he passed that point, brother. Yeah, this is what it says in Arabic. Hut. In Arabic, the word hut is a whale, not a fish. Well, here we go. Let me show it to you. Anyone who speaks Arabic, hut. This is a word mean whale, not a fish. This is why later you will see that this whale, when he go inside the sea, he leave. Did you watch... Uh, what, what 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 is a movie like? Uh, it's full of fantasy about the sea. It's like so he move he he move in the sea, and he live like a, a like a like a highway hard, like the sea will become like a like a floor. Whatever the this whale goes, uh, it's going to show that later. And then his attended Yeshua bin Nun. Look at the name, even the name, Yeshua bin Nun. Do you know what Nun mean? Who knows what noon mean? Who knows what noon mean? Anyone? Noon actually in the original language in the in the Aramaic, noon is a wheel. All right. So the guy, his name is Yeshua, son of whale. Look at this coincidence. I mean, this is amazing, beautiful. The story about a whale in the basket, and even the servant of Musa, his name is Yeshua, son of whale. True story. And then he said to him, Do you remember what happened when? Uh, we took ourselves to the rock. I did indeed forget about the fish. <coughs> See, Musa now he felt fatigue and he want to eat. So he slept, he took a nap and he slept. And then he asked his servant, Yesh Yeshua, the son of whale, to prepare the meal. Or the meal, sorry. And then uh, they found that uh, the, uh, the uh, fish is gone or the whale is gone. The narrator added, so they came back re-attracting their steps and they found in the sea the way the fish looking like a tunnel. Like what? Yes, brother. The fish, yes, she slept in the sea and she walked in the sea. However, she left behind her footsteps. And by the way, this is very normal in the Middle East. And those things happen only to Middle Eastern. And I am a Middle Eastern, and you know it. Any Muslim want to call me? Somebody want to... What is his name? Dance Bar Barbara... I mean, what kind of a name this name is? Dance Barbara, he wanna, she want to call me? She, what she want to do? She want to dance? Are you good in dancing? Perform, are you a performance or something? What we will do if she, if she call? Are we going to dance over the wheel? 
okay let me add this person to see this what this person want maybe it's a Muslim want to say something maybe it's not okay all right my friend you can call me if you wish let me say hi to you first actually already I said hi to you call me back if you like to call I will call you I hope he's a Muslim are you sure he's a Muslim I think he answered finally. I hang up. I thought he would not answer. Answer, my friend. Answer. Hello? 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 Yes, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? You are live on air. Okay, hello, uh, I am a Muslim, but not a Muslim Muslim. I'm an American convert. Mm, I think you are a troll. Troll, no. So why, why, you are, why you are changing your voice? I'm not changing my voice. You are not? No, but you do sound funny. I'm sorry, I'm on my laptop. I don't know why. Uh, Something. Okay. So you are a I'm Muslim, sorry. but you are not a Muslim Muslim. What does that mean? Yes, I am. You are a Muslim or not a Muslim Muslim? I'm not from a Muslim family, no. Oh, you are not from a Muslim family. What, what does that mean? You, you you used to be the Pope before? No, I used to be atheist. Oh, you used to be atheist. What? Okay, what, what do you... What, so what do you want to tell us about Islam as long as you used to be an atheist? Well, just that I found that it was the answer. I found that I found peace to it. Uh -huh. um, the answer to what? You find Islam is the answer for what? The answer for everything I was looking. Well, like what? I mean, I, I, like what? I what, you, what you were looking for? What you were looking for? I was looking for, I guess, God in the okay. sense. Of and you found God? Okay. What, 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 can you describe for us the God of, of Islam? The God of Islam is the only God, the one God. Okay, what what God God God? Who cares if he is one or two or three? But who is he? Do you know who is he? He's God. He, he's the creator. Okay, do you think God, he thinks that the sun... The, have, do you have a swimming pool in your home? I'm home. But do you have a swimming pool there? Uh, no. Okay, well, I, I, I you know... Uh, I wish you have one because uh, Allah He said that the sun set in the murky water. You know. I've heard this. Yes. Okay. So Allah He He is God, right? But how He, why He think that the sun set in the water? I I was explained. It was explained to me that uh, even though I know Allah said it, technically in the Quran, but it could be just uh, what Muhammad. The way of describing the scene, mm -hmm. what was but happening. He, but he was not describing the scene, he says, and he found the sun sitting in a spring of muddy, murky, hot, boiling water. And not only that, he found people next to it. Yes. Okay, so what do you think? Is God, is God? And Muhammad himself, <laughs> you see, the Muslims, if, if, if you are truly, you are saying the, tr the truth, the Muslim did not tell you the truth. Because Muhammad himself, he said, the sun set in the murky water. Let me show you the hadith in the screen. And you can read uh, with me. Okay. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. This is the hadith. And the one is talking there is Muhammad. So we read can you read the, uh, it? The sun found it in the spring of murky water. No, more. I'm, uh, this is the Quran. And now I'm showing you the, the hadith. You will see it in a second, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Do you see it? Yeah, 
I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, what do you think? Read it and tell me if you think Muhammad is a prophet or he's a liar. I want an honest answer from you. Okay, do you want me to read it out loud? Go ahead, yeah. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this sets, meaning the sun? I replied, meaning Allah. Wait, hold on. No, no. I replied, Allah and his apostle know, know best. Hmm. He said, it's, uh, he said, meaning Allah, yeah, okay. It sets in the spring of warm water. Hmm. So do you believe Muhammad is telling the truth or is a liar? But how is this different from any miracle in Christianity or what, 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 is miracle miracle? Miracle? what 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 hold on, hold on what miracle we are talking about a God he think that the son and he's a prophet he think that the son they go and they take a dip and they swim in a muddy bloody water when it is sunny the sun is set is that a true or it's false I okay so I think it's true but you think it's true the uh, sun goes in, in uh, yes the sun goes in the water but not that could say not not every day though i don't think it's like a, ah, i think it happened every once day. what do you think in, so the sun in, go in the water every like every few weeks or what every day i'm not sure honestly i don't know how that works ah okay and when the last time you saw the sun going in the murky water it looks like that every time i'm yeah but here he's saying not look, not look like it it says that this is happening every day as you see in the sunset time, he said to him, do you know where the sun goes? He said, I don't know, only you know, Allah knows. He told him the sun goes and sit in the murky water. Hmm? It says that. Uh, yeah, I think you're a see, troll. I, I, I think you're a troll, my friend. Don't call me again. We don't have time for stupidity. So, Uh, by the way, uh, there is a there is a scientist. His name Yama Aidula Yama from Japan. Very well known. He's the, he is the cousin of Suzuki Aidula always uh, Suzuki, uh, and he is the cousin of always Honda Lai I Lai always Honda. The family, all of them, they agree. All those scientists that uh, the sun sit in the murky water, but he is not sure that if this is happening every day. Not every day though. Mm hmm. Yeah, Islam is the answer. Yeah, he was an atheist and now he's a Muslim. And from an atheist to a Muslim who believe in the sun sitting in murky water. What a joker. Any Abdul? <coughs> Why hang up? I have time. No, no, no time. This, we are here speaking to adults. We don't speak to kids. This is not, uh, we are not here to play. Anyone? And by the way, those things only happen in the Middle East, as you see, like a fountain of youth, sunset in murky water, the fish escape, the wheel escape, and then the fish to go back to our, to our topic. Should you guys we go to the topic? Okay, and then he says, so they came back retract, retracting their steps. Look how smart they are. See, brother? See how smart Moses is and uh, 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 Yeshua, the son of Nun? They are retracting their footsteps. Unbelievable. How many of us can do that? How many, huh? Especially if you are walking in the in the in the sephalt in the street, you cannot do that. So, brother, look. So, retracting their steps, and then they found in the sea. They found what in the sea. The way, uh, of the fish, looking like a tunnel. See the fish. She jump in the ocean. She's a diver. By the way, this fish is very good in diving. 
This is very very unique kind of fish. They dive right away, like you know. So she dive, and then because it's uh, this why I told you it's a whale. To the point it make a tunnel, and then Moses and his servant they walk inside the tunnel in the sea, brother. I think I think now I understand why people they like uh, movies like John Wick. I mean, I can't even believe it that people believe uh, watch those movies. They keep telling me, "Did you watch John Wick?" John Wick. So I said to myself, "Let me see what this John Wick is." And it turned to be that this guy is a criminal, assassin, and he shoot everybody and he kill everybody. Is that what you like? I mean, how stupid the movie is. There's no ethic. There's no right and wrong no more. They are teaching you that you can be a killer and people love you. This is the whole point. This is the devil himself going inside your head. John Wick. A guy who goes shoot everybody because they killed his puppy. I mean, he must be here. He's right. He should do that. This is what real men do, brother. And you wonder why people, they turn to be criminals these days. Look at what you watch on TV. They make, you see, in, in the old days, even I changed the topic, in the old days they used to make movies where there is a good guy go after the criminals, right? Today, no. Today, the heroes are the criminals. The good guys are killed like chicken. He shoot the police, he shoot, who cares? I mean, he shoot everybody. Hmm. Why did I watch that movie? No, people, they told me, John Wick, John Wick. I said, well, let me see what John Wick is. So I became curious. I want to see who's prophet John Wick. Right? There is some static in my voice. Let me get the water of, uh, the water of that fish. Anyway. So here, brother, they found the sea... In the sea, the way to the of the fish looked like a tunnel. So there, there was astonishing event for his attendant. What? What does that mean? What? What? Any Muslim can tell me what does that mean? So there was an astonishing event for this attendant. That's so beautiful. Very, 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 very beautiful. And then, brother, and there was a tunnel for the fish. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Who here is a, like he 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 is a, have a contact with some directors in the movie business? We can make a very nice fiction movie here. Here we go. All what we need is a, just a cartoon, 3D graphic. Fish was in the basket. The water touched the fish. The guy he want to eat the fish. He remember that the fish is gone. They go back. They found a tunnel in the water. They go inside the, 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 the ocean. And the, the fish made a tunnel. And if you are telling me uh, that this is not a true story, you must be crazy. It's obviously true. Isn't it obviously true? If we ask Zachary Naik, he will say to you, Ibrahim Thittar, will Prophet Muthad, and he wanted to find the Prophet Al-Khadr. Allah, he told him to take with him a fifth. Hey brother, is that a sardine? You idiot! You idiot! You think it's a sardine? It's not a sardine. It's a real fifth. Hey brother, in Arabic it says hoot. Brother, they call it hoot because it was a big fifth. But in reality, it's not a hoot. It is a fifth. Hey brother, and why Allah he told him to take the fish with him? You are an idiot again. Because simply, if the fifth is not with them, they will not know that this is the fountain of youth. So the drop of water will fill over the fifth. Okay, uh, uh, brother, 
What if the fish, they put it far away from the spring of water? And then how they will know that this is the fountain? Idiot! Again, you're an idiot! It's very simple. When you go to the fountain of youth, what the first you do? You wash your hand. And then what you do? You touch the fifth. And then the fifth will come to life. Uh, brother, but the story says the opposite. It says that uh, nobody touched the fish, even nobody remember it. Exactly! But Allah with them made a drop of water come from the fountain all over the fifth. Uh, brother, don't you think that this is a fishy uh, story, brother? The fifth story is you, and you are out of here. I don't want to do your faith. So beautiful. The story is, must be true. And then a brother, he found a tunnel for the fish. And when they reached the rock, reach where? The rock, oh boy. Not only a fish, a fountain of youth. Uh, uh, no, there is a rock. Okay, what about this rock? Uh, by the way, like I, I have a phobia with rocks. Anyone, anyone remember the story of the rock? Anyone? Anyone remember when Musa, according to Muhammad, he put his clothing on the rock, and the rock she stole his clothes? True story. Let me show it to you. We will go back to the fish story. I know you are excited with the fish, but we will take a commercial break with the with how uh, like to buy a security camera so you uh, uh, no rock will steal your fish i mean your your clothes i mean you took uh, imagine you put your uh, uh, underwear on the rock and then what's like what the rock took your uh, okay uh, <clears throat> let us see let us see the story here we go, brother. And this is additional story of Allah Prophet Muhammad. And those stories, by the way, as long as the Prophet he told them, they are they are one hundred percent confirmed to be true. Okay, what happened? Allah Masanzar said, Prophet Musa was shy person. Oh boy. See, uh, me and Musa, we are both. We share many things. Here we go. I found something and used to cover his body completely of his extensive shyness one of the children of Israel hurt him by saying <laughs> he covered himself he covered his body only because he have some defect in his skin hello look at this idiot so this guy he was telling the Jews he's a Jew he was telling the Jew Habibi Habibi Musa, Moshe, Moshe Habibi, he have a problem in his skin. That's why he covers his skin, Habibi. So Allah wanted to prove to the Jews that he don't have any problem in his testicles. As you see here, it says hernia. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it correctly. I don't know how to say the word before it. Scortal hernia. I think this is a disease will, uh, uh, in the testicles, right? Man, they accuse the testicles of the prophet to have problem, or he has some other defect. Allah, Allah wished to clear Moses of what they said. See, Allah is watching. Like what? You accuse the prophet to have a defect in his testicles? No way. So, when one day while Moses was in a seclusion area, like nobody. As usual, he's shy, remember. See the story, how much it, it makes sense. He is uh, very shy, so now he's going to an area where nobody is there. And he took off his clothes. If, 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 if. And he put them on a stone. And start taking bath. Story now is getting really exciting. And look what happened suddenly. When he finished the bath, he moved toward his clothes so as to take them. But the stone took his clothes and fled. Like what? You are a prophet of Allah taking a shower. 
in a secluded area because you don't want anyone to see you and you put your panty and your bra over the, the rock and now the rock is still in your clothes? And then Musa's he picked up his stick. Musa don't walk without his stick. Wherever he go, he take the stick with him. Musa's picked up his stick and run after the stone. Saying, oh stone, give me my garment. Look at this, guys. Look at this. I, I'm going to go crazy now because this is true story. Guys, if I tell you, maybe you will not believe. In the Middle East, those things happen to us. I am a Middle Eastern and you know it. Once a brother, I was me myself taking a shower in the Middle East, in a city it's called Brazil in Brasilia. And that city, brother, is a Middle Eastern city, Arabian city. By the way, we are the first one who discovered Brazil. And uh, we have our friend, our, my uncle, his name is Shakespeare in English, but his real name is Sheikh Isper. He is the one who discovered Brazil. And anyway, this is in the Middle East, in Brazil, next to, uh, 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 you know, uh, like uh, the, the river of uh, Babylon, in Brazil. So anyway, I took my clothes off and I was taking a shower. And then I put my clothes in a mountain, not in a rock. See, I'm smarter than Musa. I said to myself, you know what? Musa put his clothes in a rock. The rock took his clothes. I will put my clothes on the mountain. And guess what? The mountain took my clothes and started running. And I start going after the mountain. Too much static. What I would do? You guys, you cut my story now. Anyway, so I went after the mountain and I was saying, Stop mountain! Stop mountain! Let my garment! And the mountain, he looked behind and he laughed. However, I'm smarter than the mountain. Look what I did. I bought some crazy glue from Walmart. And I put it from the other side in the, of the mountain in case the mountain, he thought even about it. So when the mountain start running, he stepped in the crazy glue and he could not move no more. Oof. All of you have a static or only some of you have a bad voice. Look like some of you have bad voice, some of you you don't. I think YouTube is screwed up. How many of you have a problem? Let me exit uh, Skype. Maybe that will fix. Anyway. So as you see, brother, here there is astonishing news. Musa's, when the, sto when, when the, when the, uh, when the rock stole his clothes, bad voice okay what I do I mean I, I think I have to hang up and go you guys can't hear me okay okay we continue tomorrow the story sorry I have to fix this issue I don't know what's happening my speed is not a bad speed really but look like you know YouTube screwed up and we have to fix this issue yeah no, it's not my mic. There's no way my mic. Hold on. Oh, okay. I think it's the mic. Are you all right? I hit the mic and the mic is working good now. Wow. That's my fault. Okay, it's the mic. So we will continue the story. Here, guys, you notice in this story, when, when uh, Musa's, his uh, clothes was stolen by the rock, Moses was not astonished, like, like, what? Rock and walking? No. It was normal. Look, look, he just said, oh, stone, give me my garment. I will tell you why. Because those things happen to us in the Middle East every day. It doesn't matter where you put your clothes, your clothes will disappear. You wear it, even your furniture. You go out of your home. To do shopping for some grocery, you come back, you will find zero furniture at home. 
brother. Because Middle East is a very safe land. Very safe, brother. Full of believers. This is why we put a lot of bars in our windows. And we have even bars in the front door. Yet, they still, the stone, they still our closing. You will find even your closet is empty, totally empty. Because, brother, the rocks are still in the clothes. And here you notice, and this is why you notice, that the brother Musa's, he was not surprised for seeing the stone stealing his clothes and running because this is something normal. It happened all the time. The different brother between this time and other time, this time Allah, he made the stone steal the clothes. And look at the wisdom of Allah, brother. So the, the stone took the clothes and Musa's now chasing it. And don't forget, he picked up his stick in his hand. And later you will see why he picked up his stick. Look, the author of the story is very smart. Take a note. He picked up the stick. Hmm? It's like John Wick. He got his gun now. Okay. So he picked up his stick. Take a note. Take a, put a note there. And then he said to the stone, Oh, stone, give me my garment. And look at this stone. She did not stop. So he keep chasing the stone till he reached a group of the children of Israel. Who saw him naked? <sighs> Me, guys, imagine yourself, a brother Moshe, and now you were chasing a stone. And because Moses now he's not uh, thinking, he was just want to get his wallet. He have his credit card there. Have everything, and you never know. He maybe have the Torah there. So brother, he kept chasing the stone and suddenly he found himself downtown Jerusalem. And then the children of Israel, they look at his... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> and they said to themselves, Wow! Wow! Not meow. There's a difference between... Wow, like, like in the Chinese, like a karate movie, like wow, like you know, it's like it's like astonishing, and they found him in the best of what Allah had created, brother. What does that mean, brother? This is the well, Moses. You have the best, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all is the best. I'm no comment, brother. Okay, and then brother, and Allah created him for what He accused, uh, cleared him from what He accused with. Look how smart Allah. So all this trick, brother, because people they say that the Prophet Solomon, uh, sorry, Musa, Moshe, he have a problem in his testicles, and Allah wanted to prove to the Jews. That the testicles of Moses are innocent of your accusation. Brother. Isn't it a beautiful story? So rocks, brother, they run. Any Christian logically tell me how one plus one plus one equal to one? Well, ask your God Allah because he is the one who said that one is the word of God, one is Isa, and one is his spirit. All of them, they are Jesus. So look like your stupid God is a stupid God. Sister, I agree with you. Isn't it your God? Allah says in chapter 4, verse 171, sister, that Jesus is one but a three. He is the word of God, spirit proceeding from God. And a man in the same time. So how a three can be one? Are you there, sister? I agree with you. Allah must be crazy. Uh, let me show you the verse. Because you might say, you are asking, how how are you Christians? You believe in that. First of all, we don't believe in one plus one plus one. You idiot. It's Allah who believe in that. Let me show you. This is Allah saying that Isa is a three in one. Hello? Are you there, sister? Look at this. 
O people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say of Allah aught but the truth. Christ Jesus, son of Mary, he was a messenger. Okay, let us take, this is number one, sister. He is what? He is a messenger. As a man, as a man, huh? they can know. And then his word, the Messiah is the word of Allah. Okay, and he is a word bestowed on Mary, which means sent down from heaven, and the spirit proceeding from him. So Jesus is, let us count together, one Habibi. Number one, Jesus is a man. This is your book, sister. Number two, Jesus is the word. Number three, Jesus in the spirit. Uh oh. So how three in one, one plus one plus one is equal to Jesus? Are you there, Abdul? What is the Abdul who was saying that to us? Are you there? So you must then make fun of one plus one plus one, but this is what you believe. Christians don't believe in one plus one plus one. Show me a verse in the Bible that says that the Christian believe in one plus one plus one. We believe in one God. We don't believe in one plus one plus one. It's you who believe that Jesus is a three and one in the same time. Hello? Hmm? Any Abdul? What is the logic? Why why Jesus is a three and the same time he is one? I'm really confused now. Which one is Jesus? Jesus is the spirit or Jesus is the word or Jesus is the messenger of Allah as a man? It, not only that, brother. It, what about the Quran says that Jibreel is an angel and Jibreel is a spirit? And Jibreel is a man. Look at this. Which one of them is Jibreel? Allah, he sent the spirit to Mary. We asked the Muslims, who is the spirit? He said, Jibreel. Okay. Who is the Holy Spirit? They said, Jibreel. Okay. Is it true that Jibreel is an angel with 600 wings? He says, yes. Is it true that Jibreel appeared to Mary as a perfect man? They say, yes. So how he is a spirit and a man and an angel, but yet is one. Any Abdul? Hello? What happened to the Muslims who were texting in the chat? They stopped texting. Okay, now we go back to the story, which is very interesting story. And many of you will convert to Islam because of it. Because here we see a miracle how Allah make the stone steel clothes. The same as I saw today in Walmart, a woman, she was doing shoplifting. Obviously, she was doing it by the order of Allah. Because look, shoplifting is ordered by Allah. This stone, she did uh, wallet lifting, clothes lifting. And she ran away with the clothes of Moses. And by the way, when Moses, he arrested this stone because the stone finally stopped. This is the wisdom of Allah because Allah wants people to see that the testicles of Moses are very big and beautiful. And then, till he reached a group of Bani Israel and they saw him naked and they found him in the best way you can imagine. Like, wow! And then, the stone stopped. And Moses took and put his garment on and start hitting the stone with his stick. And brother, Prophet Muhammad saying, by Allah. Look, look, Muhammad now is swearing. This is a true story. By Allah, the stone still has some traces of the hitting there. <laughs> three times. <laughs> or three or four. Or Muhammad, look how honest he is. He is not sure that the stick left mark. The stick left mark in the back of the stone? Guys, did you see that? So the stone who stole the clothes of Moshe, Moshe, he took his stick and he started beating it. And then 
he left mark until now in the back of the stone. Who is a Muslim when it tell us about it? the guy who was saying speaking about history? Hanan, are you a history person? Do you agree with the history of your prophet and what he said, or you don't want to talk about it? That the stone was doing sharp lifting by the order of Allah. And Moses was beating the stone for being a thief. You know what? Why Moses did not cut the hand of the stone? It's just a question. Then you must can tell us. Shouldn't Moses maybe cut the hand of the stone? And by the way, how the stone she run? She have legs? Any Mohammedan? How the stone was able to run? Run, run, run away, run, run, da 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 dum, run, run, da dum, run, run, away, run, run. And those Muslims who they are posting in the chat, why you don't call me, my friend? Call me. Silence me. Who wanna do so? Hmm? And look, when the prophet he swear, that means he is one billion percent sure. This is a true story. Until now, brother, the marks of the stone of the beating is in the back of the stone. Ask me, ask me. I was there. Uh, Muslims, Muhammad is swearing that the marks of the stones in the back of the stones. Did Muhammad see that stone? Any Muslim can tell us? Hey guys, uh, uh, stop texting this guy he called himself refuted because you are adding my name next to his name and that make it appear for no reason for me. So I will do this. I will force this guy to change his name. All, of the, all the Muslims can refute me, but as you see, they don't dare to call me. They refute me, but this coward, he will not call me. Okay. How are you, Mr. Arabian Prophet? And the funny, your name is stupid because you are saying your prophet is refuted. Ooh, thank you. Is it stupid to call yourself Arabian Prophet refuted? This is exactly what we are doing here. <laughs> uh, can, you, can you explain Jesus commanding uh, uh, Isaiah was walking in the desert? You walk in the desert naked, so what? You mean you mean you see how silly you are? You're stupid. You can chicken you go to go so na is it better than the monuna? It can one who do you know what English language I'm speaking to you? I mean to go and go to go to go to go. The guy was nobody there. So if he's naked, who so what? I mean who's a silly who's a stupid here? Do you see how silly and stupid you are? Donkey! He left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. And I cannot make you a horse. Sorry. 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 Any Abdul? Yes, did you learn did you did you like my new language? I went to a different country. It's more it's called uh, uh, Sri Lanka Stan. And I learned there how to speak this language. Did I say doo-doo? A doo-doo is not good. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Anyone? Who is a Muslim want to tell us something? Who are you? Okay, Sam Shamoon is going to go live soon. Okay, I'm going to stop then so you guys you can join, join Sam Shamoon. And those who have a question about the Bible, you can ask a uh, brother Sam. Is he live or not yet? Did he go live or not yet? He's going soon? Like how soon? It's too bad. Today we did not get any fish. 
No, in Thailand, they don't speak like that. In Thailand, they speak like this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, sir. And you think like, well, what is that? Like, boom, boom. You know? Like, uh-huh. What? Yeah? Hello? You feel like you are in the heaven of Allah in there. Everything is boom, boom. Hello? Any Abdul? <clears throat> Sam, he will not be live. I don't know. Somebody's saying they will be live. Do we have any Abdul here? We are not leaving yet because they said Sam is not going live. I don't know. Any Muslim? Anyway, as you see, as you see, guys, Islam is, you know, when a Muslim, he says to us, Islam makes sense, Islam, I mean, look at this. All of this, because Muhammad, the fool man, he believed in a story told by the Jews, they tell to their babies, to their children before they sleep. This guy is a story collector. Any story he hear it around him, he put it in his book. Another example. There's a story, it's called The Seven Sleepers. Seven Sleepers written more than 400 years before Muhammad. And it's a fiction story. Written by a Syrian uh, uh, bishop to teach Christian youth that discrimination will not stop Christianity. We are victorious. So it's a fiction story. Muhammad, he took the story, he put it in the Quran, and he claimed that Allah told him the story. But this is a fiction story. Nothing there is true. Written more than 400 years before Muhammad. And the story written in a funny, hilarious way. Maybe tomorrow, if we come online again, we can talk about this story. Just remind me. All right? He don't even know there are five or four. There are f f six or seven. He you know, they are asking Muhammad, they ask him, how many there are, Muhammad? And Muhammad, because he was afraid to give a number which will get, get him busted, so he said, some they say there are four and their dog is number five. Some they say there are five and their dog is number six. Some they say there are seven and their dog is number eight. Say only Allah knows. <laughs> say though, my Lord, no best of their number look at this action so all this drama to tell us Allah knows the best of their number what is the answer what the number <clears throat> they are asking you a simple question how many they are do, do, does the story need all this uh, some they say they are four and their dog is number five and some they say they are five and their dog is number six and some they say they are seven and their dog is number eight <laughs> say all only knows the true number if 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 this is so deep brother this is so deep brother hmm. Michaela Terrell, I heard yesterday that Islam was created by Catholic Church because we wanted Israel. As tell Michaela, tell the idiot he told you that, that the only one who was fighting Islam for the first 600, 700, 800 years, 1000 years, it was the Catholic. So the one who told you that is a certified donkey. And you should give him a certification with your shoe. You can stamp the certificate with your shoe for him. Or that? Because who is the crusade, Mishila? The crusade are Catholic. Okay? Come to daddy. I mean, some people, they have a brain of a cat. Like even a cat, she don't say what they say. Meow. Stupid people. So, 
copy paste people and I'm not a Catholic by the way but this is a lie this is a very stupid lie very stupid lie big big stupid lie come to daddy <laughs> doom you are you are copying I have copyright over this come to daddy why you are taking it from me I'm going to report you to YouTube police anyone saw the video of the guy who called me he says he will report me to YouTube police actually he did not call me he made a video for me he's from uh, he is a uh, he live in the Emirat his name is what I forgot his name so this guy you know I get him busted badly so he said you have no right to talk about about what I said I'm going to report you to YouTube police I'm serious YouTube police you know <clears throat> and the funny in the video he wanted to show us the picture of his mother his mother wearing burqa I mean where is the picture <laughs> she's wearing a burqa you can see her even her eyes so where is the picture of your mother you have a picture of a woman of something covered by a sheet and he was showing like this is my mother like where is your mother man we see the curtain anyway it's good to take a picture right like this for your mother-in-law you know you put it in the living room this way you see nothing it's just a curtain all right guys i think we have enough for today uh, otherwise the youtube police will be all over us <laughs> and then we we'll see you soon again may the lord bless you and remember always that uh, nobody can refute us because they have nothing islam is a nothing it's just a, a a collection of stupid stories not even it's not like sometimes muslims they speak about logic i mean someone actually the word logic by the way is against islam because this is something created by the kuffar philosophy all the muslim the, the one they call the muslim philosopher those are not muslims in islam because the second you speak philosophy you are not a muslim the second you speak logic you are not a muslim all those names the muslim they claim that they are proud about them they've been accused to be apostate and most of them they get killed for being scientist and then they fabricate a lie saying that Galileo was killed because the Christ because he said the the, uh, uh, the earth is not a flat that's a big fat lie Abdul first of all where in the Bible it says the earth is a flat actually the Bible is the only book written thousand of years ago saying the globe of the earth before your scientists even think about it so this is absolutely a lie anyway i want to say thank you may the lord bless you and until we see you soon again christ is lord and islam is false and don't forget if you like to learn more you can read my books you can get them from amazon.com and more soon more books will be published in different languages so we will let you updated about them thank you and see you soon again take care